Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Romero Cards for Honeybee Stamps and today I'm excited because I'm going to be making probably one of my most favorite kind of Christmas cards ever and that's snowflakes. Um, it, you know, I live in Chicago. I've lived here for 12 years. Every time they even call for snow, I get so excited. My friends hate me here because of that. Uh, prior to that, I lived in Florida for 11 years, so we saw no snow. And so I come to Chicago and I've been waiting for this like huge snowstorm to happen and it has not happened yet. So until then, I just make Christmas cards with snowflakes on them until finally one day we get that huge blizzard that I've been waiting on. Anyway, we're going to take a look at a few of the items that we are going to be uh, using today for the card. But before that, there's a few things that I would love for you to do. First of all, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already because this channel is fabulous. There's all kinds of artists here that show you how to make uh, beautiful pieces of work. Uh, secondly, click that notification so that you know a new video is coming out. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Leave some comments down below. Let us know what you like about the cards that were made today. And what's the last thing? Oh, share the love. If you think someone would love these snowflake cards, send them the link to this video, share it out, share it to the world. So let's go look at the desk and see what we're going to be using today. Okay, so for this card, we're going to be using a ton of products here. We're going to be using the metallic inks from Honeybee Stamps. We're going to be using the white pigment ink from Honeybee Stamps, and we're going to be using the clear embossing ink as well. We're going to be using the new snowflake Die, our embossing folder here, which is amazing. We're going to be using the Lovely Layer Snowflakes dies. We're also going to be using the Mini Messages Holiday. Um, I do have it in here in this packet with the other mini messages that we have, and the dies are in here also. You guys, these envelopes, uh, lifesavers. Like, I need to order like a lot more of these, they're just perfect. And then we're going to be using various cardstock colors here today. I'm going to attempt to make six cards, two of each, two of three kinds. And then we're going to be using some like random glitter stock and some mirror cardstock and all that great stuff. So let me go ahead and get the desk set up for our first part of the card making process. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be placing these into the embossing folder. But prior to that, I am going to ink the embossing folder up so that we can get some impressions of color into these cardstocks. So for this black cardstock, I'm going to use the white. So I'm going to find the side that's raised, which is this side. I'm going to take this ink pad and I'll lightly tap onto the embossing folder to get white ink on the raised parts of the embossing folder. Then I will take the black piece here, place it into the embossing folder and run it through the die cutting machine. I'm gonna do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran this through the die cutting machine and then here we go, we have this impression wow that's really beautiful i love that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same thing for the second piece and i'll come back and we'll do the next color okay we ran this one through the die cutting machine and we also have this beautiful piece that is just lovely i love that so i'm going to do the same process with this with the purple i'm going to do the gold and with the navy, I'm going to do silver. I'm going to do this exact same process. I'm not going to show you with the gold and silver, but you'll know how I've done that already. So I'll be right back when all of these panels are done. Okay, so I went ahead and did the silver and navy, which is this one. And what I did was I inked up both sides of the embossing folder because, you know, if you're new to this crafting industry, one of the things that we have, like, the biggest issue with is choosing which side of the paper to use on most cases <laughs> and it's like a dilemma for us all so i did it on both sides for us to take a look to see exactly what we 
uh, came up with and maybe which side we'll use. Um, of course, some of these are going to be hard to choose which side I want to use, but you know, we'll see, but let's take a look at them. So this is the Navy and silver embossed. And basically this is the debossed one cause it goes down and this is the embossed one cause it comes up. And I really like this side of here. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do one this side, one with this side. Now for the black and white, I actually only did one side. So these were just gonna have to work for us. And then for the purple and gold, I did the same. So this one is the embossed and this one is the deboss side of it. I kind of feel like I like the deboss side of these, but we're gonna work these out. So, all right. So for my idea here, you guys, I'm thinking of doing um, let's see here. For the black and white one, I'm thinking of doing snowflakes on top of red and white. For the navy blue and silver, I'm thinking of doing this navy glitter paper along with some silver. And last, for the purple and gold, I'm thinking of using this gold um, paper that I made with some Simon Hurley Lunar Paste. And actually, this is solar paste, I believe. And I'll, I think it's beluga is the color. And then using black. So we're going to experiment with this to see what they look like. Hopefully, they look pretty good when we do that. So let me get set up. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just do one of the colors and then I'll do kind of like what I did um, previously where I'll cut everything out and we'll come back together and take a look at everything. So I think I'll just, you know, start where I left off um, with the black here and we're, we have the red and the white. And we're just going to take the snowflakes here. Maybe. Why aren't they coming out? There we go. So, and I'm just gonna see exactly where these fit. Like this big one fits on the red. We'll do a white, another white. We'll do a red. We're just gonna cut all of them out and then see what we get and we'll work from that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut out onto um, the uh, die cutting machine and I'll be right back and show you what these guys look like. Okay, so we've gotten these cut through the die cutting machine. Let's take a look at them. Awesome, it looks like maybe these are supposed to come out. Let's find a little pokey tool or something. Yeah, so these are supposed to poke out. Love that. There we go. Ooh, this one's really delicate. Love that. And let's take a look at the red ones. Ooh, I knew I would love this red one. Let's try to get this out without tearing it. With these delicate ones, it's really nice if you have something like your tweezers here just to kind of push it out instead of like trying to pull it. Um, it really helps. Okay, this one's really intricate. There's a bunch of pieces that need to come out of here. Oh gosh, you guys, this looks really pretty. Yeah, this one's got a bunch of little pieces in it, which is fine. You know, whatever. We'll get it all taken care of. There we go. Wow, that's, that's a really pretty snowflake. Then we have this guy. This little chubby thing. He's so chubby. Little chubby. And then we have this kind of like a star pattern. Really cool. And so the idea of these is to kind of like stack them on top of each other and make different snowflakes and things like that. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all the colors with all the different um, snowflakes and then we'll come back and we'll try to build up some of these cards with the snowflakes. So we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I played around with these snowflakes um, as I was cutting them out. I, I have to say the purple and gold were a little hard to do. I think I'm going to have to cut these out in gold um, snowflakes. So I'll do that in a few minutes. But I kind of came up with this situation that I really like. Um, these purple ones that I made with the lunar paste look really good on this black. And I have a couple black snowflakes under that. You can't really tell because of the lighting in the studio here. But then I like this black and red on this black and white. And then I have like the silver on this navy. And so like this guy, that's, you know, it's on the navy. You can't really tell when it's on the cardstock because it kind of matches. But in real life, it looks really good. So like this guy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these the way they are, and then I'm going to cut out some gold snowflakes, and I think they're going to go on here because I just couldn't get any of these to work right. This purple really didn't match this, so I'm going to do some gold for these guys, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I found some actual gold holographic paper in my stash. Um, here we go. This is what it looks like up close. I thought this would be cool to put on to this purple. I think it looks okay. Um, so I, I think I have, well, really, I have a bunch of snowflakes cut out <laughs> that I'm going to have to find something to do with. But outside of that problem, um, now it's time to figure out how these are going to work out. So I know I need to do some sentiments. We're going to do some sent sentiments from here. So I think we'll work on that next and then we'll try to figure out how these are all going to go together. So let's get the desk set up to do sentiments. Okay, since I have six different kinds of cards and I'm going to do three different colors of embossing here, um, I've kind of separate these into thirds because I'm going to have to do um, two at a time because they're different color embossing um, powders. So what I decided to go with was Winter Wonderland, Happy Holidays, Holiday Wishes, Thank You So Much, From Our Family to Yours, and Warm Winter Wishes. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the stamps onto the Misty, and we'll go ahead and condition them by just rubbing them down so that the ink sticks to the stamps. And we'll use our anti-static tool here because we don't want any of the... Um, ink sticking to the paper and then we are going to ink up our first sentiments here we'll just do it one more time you don't want to press too hard on these because you don't want to smush the letters because they get distorted and they won't look pretty when they come to um, when they get heat embossed. All right, so we'll do white as our first one. Okay, that looks good. What I'll do is I'm going to pause this, I'm going to heat emboss this, I'm going to do all the other embossing um, colors or embossing powders, and then I'll come back to show you what they look like, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so I have all of these heat embossed. I do have gold, silver, and white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one of these types of uh, dies here, I'm going to cut these out, different shapes, different lengths. So I'm gonna run these through the die cutting machine and I'll be right back and show you what those look like. Okay, so here are all the cards and how I'm gonna have them set up. The only difference is, is I'm gonna cut these down a little bit so that they can have a mat. So like on these guys, I'm gonna do a black mat. And then on these four here, I'm gonna do a white mat on these. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cut these down a little bit smaller 
I'm going to glue all the snowflakes on. I'm going to mix some with just right onto the card base. I'm going to do some with some, uh, with some uh, foam tape. And then I'm also going to pop these sentiments up with foam tape also. And then I'm going to come back and show you the completed cards. I think they're going to look so amazing and I can't wait to come back and show them to you. Okay, everyone. So I have all the cards together. I'm so excited to show them to you. Um, you know, I do have a problem of having so many snowflakes to deal with, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a way to put these into future cards. So we will be putting them away with the dies in the pocket that you guys should get for your dies. So anyway, here we go. This is the first card, Winter Wonderland. We have Happy Holidays. We have Holiday Wishes. From Our Family to Yours. Warm Winter Wishes. And thank you so much. So I know that these cards really aren't really um, traditional Christmas colors. So I know they might be a little hard to take, but I think they're really fun. And I think people will really enjoy receiving these and thinking, wow, that's, that's interesting. Which I think when someone says something's interesting, they're really saying it's cool, right? So which one of these is my favorite card? Mm, I would have to say I have a mix. I have two that are my favorite. I like this Warm Winter Wishes, which I love. That Simon Hurley Solar Paste looks amazing on here. I love this guy. And then I also love this Happy Holidays Navy with the glitter cardstock. I really like that as well too. Um, my least favorites, which is fine, we all have that, right? And might be one of your least favorites. I, I'm not digging the purple and gold so much. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Um, I'm just not for sure. I'm, I'm gonna have to look into it, like give it a day, come back to it and see. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Honey Bee Stamps and check out all the latest and greatest items that they just released. All the products used will be linked down below for you. Also, make sure you check them out over on Instagram and Facebook and all the other socials. And then you can check me out too by searching for Bromero Cards over on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. So until next week, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!